come back to God. Brothers and sisters, come back to God. It is not too late for you to make a choice. It is not too late for you to make a U-turn. A lot of people think that God wants them to be in that pain. People have a, a, a perception that God is punishing them. No, it is not God punishing you. In the first case, it is not God that brought a disease on you. It is not God that brought that pain on you. It is not God that caused that marriage to be broken. God loves you so much. If God can show you how much he loves you. In fact, God has already shown you that he, that he loves you so much. He has already expressed his love through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That he came and died for you. Even if you were the only one left on planet earth, Jesus would have died for you. That is how God loves you. God loves you more than you think your, your, your friends love you. More than you think those that are around you love you. God is love. So brothers and sisters, it is not too late for you to come back to him. Come back to him while there is still time for you. Today's word is from the book of Jeremiah chapter 2 verse 4 to 7. Jeremiah chapter 2 verse 4 to 7. It reads, Hear the word of the Lord, O house of Jacob, and all the families of the house of Israel. Thus says the Lord, What injustice have your fathers found in me, that they have gone far from me, have followed idols, and have become idolaters? Neither did they say, Where is the Lord who brought us up out of the land of Egypt? who led us through the wilderness, through a land of deserts and pits, through a land of drought and of the shadow of death, through a land that no one crossed and where no one dwelt. I brought you into a bountiful country to eat its fruit and its goodness. But when you entered, you, you defiled my land and made my heritage an abomination. Oh, glory to God. God wants you to come back to him. Remember that the scripture was written to the Israelites. But this same scripture can still apply to you in your situation. The scripture, the word of God is alive and active. So it can still be applicable. I wish I'm speaking to somebody right now. That it does not matter how far you are fallen. How things are falling on you. God can still lift you up. God can still bring you up. Now the scripture says that hear the word of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, hear the word of the Lord. Scripture says, what injustice have your fathers found in me? That they have gone far from me, have followed idols, and have become idolaters. A lot of people think that God is punishing them a lot of people think that god is uh, administering injustice to them but remember god is a just god there are a lot of things that you have done and god has served you out of them there are things that we do not deserve but rather because of the love that god has for us he extends them to us he gives them to us he has freely given them to us. Brothers and sisters, God is not punishing the world. God is not destroying the world. God cannot participate in the destruction of his own people who love him. God is a just God. So if you follow exactly what he has laid out to you, he will protect you. Scripture says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous man runs to it and he is safe. If you have not yet found safety, know that you are not in the name of the Lord. But if there is, you are in the name of the Lord, you will find safety. Even when you think that somebody is injuring you, you are still safe. Glory to God. Your soul is still safe. My God, I wish I'm speaking to somebody right now. Scripture says, Neither did they say, where is the Lord who brought us up out of the land of Egypt? 
They did not remember God. Some of you, if God can reveal to you what he has brought you out, some of you have come from death itself. Some of you, I'm speaking to somebody right now, you were in a coma, but God brought you out. You were supposed to die. You were knocked by a car. You were knocked down. You were injured. That disease that you had, those finances that you had, the, 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 those court cases that were pushed onto you were supposed to destroy your lives. Those negative words that people said were supposed to put you down. Those traps that people said that the enemy set for you were supposed to capture you. But you came out of it. But some of you have forgotten all those testimonies. You have kept sailing for so long. You have returned back to the old. You have returned back to the old things that tormented you. But God wants you to come back. God wants you to remember him. The, the scripture says, through a, that who led us through the wilderness, through a land of deserts and pits. There it is. Some of you were in the wilderness. In other words, a dry place. A place where you felt thirst. A place where there was no fruit. But God led you out. It was not your own leading. It was not your own wisdom or your intellect. It was not even your friends that led you out. It was God that led you out of that wilderness. Of that a land of drought and shadow of death. There was a shadow of death following you. Not your own shadow, but a shadow of death that was following you. You were about to die. The land was a land of deserts and pits. Remember when you fall, there are some pits that when you fall into, you will never get out until somebody gets you out of that pit. It is only God that can get you out of that pit. That lion's den, it is God that can get you out. Your friends can try to, to, to help you, but they will never get you out. In fact, your friends will forsake you, but it's only God that will get you out. Now, scripture says, through a land that no one crossed and where no one dwelt. Because people knew that when you enter that land, you will not come out. But God led you out of that land where no one crossed and no one dwelt. Now, the scripture says, I brought you into a bountiful country to eat of its fruits and its goodness. But when you entered, you defiled my land and made my heritage an abomination. Do not defy the land that God has brought you into. Do not forget the Lord when he, when he brings a breakthrough to you. Brothers and sisters, this is a loving message that Jesus loves you so much. He wishes above all things that you prosper. As just as your soul prospers, he wants you to prosper. Brothers and sisters, this is the good news of Jesus Christ. And now until next time, God bless you.